Alrighty guys, we're gonna be jumping into the next game. We're gonna be seeing, we have confirmed it's gonna be her from um, University of Tennessee going up against Rograts. Oh, excuse me, Mary's College is Rograt. Uh, this is going to be probably Bayonetta Greninja. I'm like 99% sure. Uh, don't shoot the messenger if, uh, if uh, you know, her does not end up playing Bayonetta. Uh, I think this is like a bit of an interesting matchup uh, just because like a lot of what Bayonetta is looking for um, is to be able to to call out jumps and call out a lot of idleness uh, and Greninja is usually like the aggressive um, and it's a little bit tricky to sort of catch his jump. He has so much aerial mobility He's able to jump through this guy so quickly um, So it's gonna be like really really difficult for her just to find a way to initiate But uh, okay, remember what I said about Greninja? Uh, okay, I guess I guess Gravgat is gonna be opting for the game and launch right off the bat What are what are your thoughts on the um, Game and & Watch and Bayonetta matchup? Oh man, that's, that's tough with Bayo, you know? It, like, you're a couple of frames, you know, off, you're not able to get your confirm. You can kind of cheat your stocks a little bit, up B and kill her immediately. Um, or, you know, Bayonetta is just going to struggle really hitting uh, a lot of Game & Watch's shield. You know, because, um, you know, a lot of how she initiates is like heal slide. Um, and, and, you know, as soon as you hit Game & Watch's shield, you can kind of explode through that. So, but right now, able to get the double ABK into the up B, not much else off of it though. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing that um, Game & Watch is really slipping out of Bayonetta's combos, oh, like combo starters, as you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a little baby, you know, look he's how tiny small. he is. He's small, he can SDI out of it, and he has really quick buttons to be able to get out of those situations as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, who just has to make sure that the spacing is immaculate. I love that witch time as a read, really understanding that Gaga was going to be mashing those, but unfortunately no punish off of it. Mm -hmm. And it also seems like Rograt is waiting for her to make the first move before like going in for a dash attack, sometimes blocking off with the bacon. And I think that'll take it. Yeah, it was to get the down smash into the out smash. The, the funny, the classic. Um, and right now, Gograt is just sort of looking for any sort of means to continue his advantage on Bayonetta, just trying to get a couple of juggles here and there. Ooh, getting the nine but not hitting anybody. Yeah, tragic. Actually, no, no, I, I take that back. That's not tragic. All, all is good in this world, but it didn't connect. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you can't be whipping those kinds of moves. I'm not really sure what who was going for with that one. Um, it's possible that they try to input a day, you know, a diagonally up F smash, and it was just like a little bit too high, which is really unfortunate. But uh, not able to get the down smash into the F smash there either. But wow, who is just struggling to land mm -hmm. right now? And I'm really noticing how um, Rograt is really not trying to be on platforms as often, being as low ground as possible, and um, her pulling out a lot of F smashes that aren't really hitting, but actually getting her in trouble. Yeah, for sure. Um, and that's like a really good point, because like more often than not, against Bayonetta, if you're above her, um, you know, if you're like within her diagonals, she's able to get on you so quickly, so dangerously. Um, you know, it just leaves you really vulnerable to ABK, but now Hu is just struggling to be able to take the stock out at 151. You know, really anything can kill uh, Game & Watch at this point. Mm -hmm. And again, like Hu is yeah. just like pressing all these buttons out of the corner. Rograt is like nowhere near Hu. Mm -hmm. Really playing very patient with this. And yeah, standing center stage, doing smash attacks. Mm -hmm. and, and really, that's the only reason why Given Watch can kind of get away with like throwing smash attacks like that. Once you are in center stage, your opponent doesn't have too much space to back up and whiff punish you. They're gonna have to like try to jump out of the corner, but Rugrat is making really good use of that. That throw was not able to kill mm -hmm. yet. So oh, unfortunate, but. Gets but... The stage by... mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at that point, like, you know, at a certain point, you just have to be able to cut the bleeding. So it's good that Hu is able to at least take one stock right now, because that means that's going to be one less point going to Melis College. So, so in that game, for the most part, I feel like there was just like a lot of whips coming out from Hu. Raga was able to get a lot of whip punishes, um, and Hu was not, so more often than not, 
Um, when, when you try to like think about like, okay, why am I not hitting my opponent? You have to think about, am I swinging at where I think they're gonna be? Or am I swinging at where, you know, they always are? And you have to make like a slight adjustment to that and be able to recognize it. For most of this game, her was swinging um, in a lot of spaces that, you know, they anticipated Gargrat sort of occupying. Um, and they weren't able to find it. So going into this next game, you know, just like some slight adjustments to spacing and like being a little bit more, um, you know, being a little bit smarter about some of the options that they're picking uh, to try to hit Gaga where he presently is, rather than, uh, you know, where who thinks he's gonna go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wow, that move is just so active. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, there's, there's like so little that you can do in that situation as well. It's like one of those kind of ambiguous hitboxes. So even if you get hit by it, it might be like really difficult to react to in tech, uh, especially with added input latency online. I guess Rograd is sticking with Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. Maybe with, um, I'd love to see the Greninja. The one you mentioned but it seems though um game and yeah. watch was the comfortable choice and um he ended mm -hmm. up he, he like really knew the the way to beat her and for sure. yeah for sure he played really patiently played a lot out of shield we're just like sort of waiting like saying come here big boy what are you gonna do press buttons absolutely not you know uh and we're just like able to get like a lot off of it uh Gaga, for the most part was just like able to play really second beat so he is just gonna have to be able to make the movement a little bit more ambiguous, try to see if he can get, uh, you know, try to see if they, they can get Gaga to get a whiff or two, uh, but more importantly, they have to be initiating, uh, you know, in the range that, you know, Game & Watch is actually occupying, and not always where, uh, you know, Bayonetta thinks that he's gonna be at. I think maybe this stage would be a little better for Bayonetta because Battlefield had platforms that kind of blocked some um, combo starters and um, combos in general. So like being able to util utilize most of the air yeah, would be for sure. better um, on Bayonetta's side. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, Battlefield like can definitely really favor Game & Watch sometimes because he's able to sort of whiff up B and kind of get away with it sometimes. Um, and then also be able to get so many oh platform God. extensions. I, have you ever seen that? No. Like uh, because it shouldn't, right? Like that was like five missed texts. <laughs> like please, please that, press you you shoulder buttons. They they exist for a reason. They exist really, to be pressed. They really equalized the score between them, and it seemed like as we were talking, her was in the lead with all the. And he takes it. There's no such so. thing as a lead. There's no such thing as a lead against Game <laughs> Watch. You just you mess up once and then you get down smashed, down smashed, and you're like, damn. The and oldest GG's trick in the book. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, that was... excellent punish. Oh, and now Gaga's gonna be able to get something started, but still able to bat within a way from the neutral, not able to get the full follow-up. Game Watch can get so much off of that juggle. Um, you know, neutral, neutral into uppers. Like, that's 50% guaranteed right off the bat. That's gonna be the up tilt into the back here, but her actually not gonna be jumping high enough in order to be able to connect it. I think we're seeing some um, habits that her displayed in the previous match with just throwing um, smash attacks at the end edge of the stage and um, not exactly hitting anything. Yeah, just like we were just seeing a whole lot of whiffs once again. Whiffs, 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 and Game and Watch is just like able to get away oh, with it. But catching but the job, that was really good actually. Yeah, no, I really like that option. Who was like able to like catch on, like, you know what? Raga was doing this out of shield quite a bit, kept trying to initiate from that point, and just like that, even up the stock count. Uh, Lugger is doing anything that he can just to sort of punish her for hitting a shield right now. But uh, I have to say, her is doing an excellent job of mixing up up B's and ABK's, uh, making themselves really, really unhittable. I would like to see a couple of more up B out of shields because it's like a really good all coverage option. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was really nice. Um, but of course, um, Game & Watch is small, small play. 
and slipped out of the combos. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. No, well, good. Able to get the full hit of the up it does so much. Able to perpetuate this jungle. This could be so huge, uh, but not leading the SDI properly. Going for another up B instead of another ADK at that point. And Gagarat finding the punish, pressing down smash twice, looking at her directly in the eyes, saying, Yeah, man. You know, I, I don't even have any words for this. Oh, geez. Oh, buddy. He's trying to cheat. Mm hmm. Who sets up the tech chase? That was so smart, but her with a really good option select on the get up attack. That down smash not gonna be able to spike quite yet. Really, really unfortunate. Uh, spaced a little bit too far back to be able to cover. Game and Watch's neutral get up. Um, and now Gagarat is looking for a way to land, and her once again just committing to so many smashes. And speaking of smashes, um, wow. <laughs> That, uh, that happened. That happened, yeah. That just kind of happened. That was that was a bit of an interesting sequence. Vayne's uh, up smash was bigger than Game & Watch, and I didn't even realize the spot dodge. Yeah, no, that was like a really nicely timed spot dodge. Because, like, Rugrat saw that, hit Vayne on his shield in a pretty safe way, and her, you can't be overcommitting out of shield like that. Sometimes the best thing that you can do, instead of always buffering an up smash out of shield, or an up B out of shield, is just sometimes, like, Hey, if this is a move that's relatively safe, if you don't have enough rams to be able to punish this, sometimes the best thing that you could do is just wait. You know, you could sit and shield a little bit longer, you could full hop, try to reposition yourself, see if maybe you could land on top of them and the next option. Uh, there's definitely a lot that can be done there, but I have to say, that was just like really good solid play from Gaga once again, just like catching her on a lot of these habits and a lot of these with smash attacks, just leaving, uh, leaving them so vulnerable. But on her side, I really believe that hers um, Bayonetta really shined through in mm -hmm. in PS2 more so than Battlefield. Yeah, for sure. They were able to get a lot more started. Um, I also feel like they did a little bit of a better job of following uh, a lot of Rograt's SDI, um, able to get like a sort of a lot of hits off, um, and just really get every single last drop. But at the end of the day, they had to be careful about the way that they were landing. Uh, you know, Gagarat was catching so many landings just by running up, down smash, you know, over and over again. Uh, you know, they were able to take that and go all the way home with it. Mm -hmm. So our next match is Zook 